Jason, a, a quiet game to start the new year, then describe the emotions after that one. I think first and foremost, if you came here as a neutral, I mean, it's, it's everything what a, what a derby is and, it, and what this level of football is. I thought two teams who looked as well, every time they went forward, they were going to score. Um, keepers have had, a, had great games, both of them. Gouldy's pulled us out, out the mire a couple of times, but I thought we, I thought second half we were excellent. I thought we were dominant. Um, you know, and we could have felt sorry for ourselves because once I thought first half we, we did well, um, but they always looked a threat. The three lads up front for them were really sharp and caused us all sorts of problems after the goal. Um, but we got got to the grips of that second half. And like you said, the delay. You, you, you start to think you know, with, with playing so many games, like legs will tire. But I think up the hill, we we, we were in the ascendancy, and we. We, we we should have scored when you know we had, we had we had quite countless chances I think to to to, uh, to go two one up and then Gildy's pulled a wonder save off again so it's fine margins football's about fine margins about scoring when at the right time but it was a, it was a I mean, it was a f unbelievable game for the for, for both sides really um, and you know over the two games I think we've just shaded it but uh, like I said I thought they were I thought they were more of a threat today than they were at their place um, like I said the causes all sorts of trouble going forward. Um, and we've scored at the right time, you know, Ben McKenna scored a wonder goal um, and worthy to win any match and then the icing on the cake is, is boys at the end and we could have we could have snuck a couple more but like I said, I think just first and foremost delighted for the <coughs> for, for the fans because like you say we um, we didn't get out of the game at their place and then you, you, you lose against Gateshead, you two two rivals, everyone thinks that the bubble's burst and then the players show what they're all about again today, about that. You know, I thought, like I said, there was some some monumental performances today, and, and, and just delighted for the fans. I think it was a bit of deja vu from the Gator game. Obviously, at the start of the second half, we had so many chances, didn't take them, and then, as you said, Matt Gould pulls off a, a save at, at a key time against Donawa. Did you always believe that there was a winner in it? Yeah, yeah but uh, the, the more times you uh, you, you don't score, you, you just they've got quality players that, that that can score goals. You know, you just have to look at the games previously that there's not many times they don't they don't score. You know, and, and it's like for us, we, we're a team that doesn't very, very rarely doesn't score. Uh, but, you know, but I'm just delighted today because we've. It's not about hard luck stories because I think we've always given them a game, um, and 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 we've uh, we've come off the back of two losses against against one of your local, well, two local rivals, um, and they could could have folded, especially when they scored the, the equaliser, uh, which was a bit of a. A carbon copy of the game, the goal against Gateshead, um, stood it up, back stick, header, and then we've had, like I say, a second and a half, we've got in countless times, but they, they were still always a threat on the break, they were always a threat on the break, and like I said, it was um, it was a fitting, fitting way to start the new year. And obviously up next, Kings Lynn, who won again today, top of the table, they're obviously flying, and I guess it's, it's quite a, a tough way to end what's been a really busy few weeks, but obviously, will there be changes, you think, in the squad to refresh legs? He got three days rest. We'll travel over on Friday, like we, you know, the chairman looks after the lads. You know, we'll travel Friday, but it was important we got we got the winter day. Um, you know, the longer the the, the sort of well, you, I, I, said, I said to everybody, you know, you, you go 13 games unbeaten, and then you lose two games, especially against your rivals. The, you know, the world's collapsed, um, but you don't get too down when you lose, and you don't get too high when you win. It was a good performance today against you know against Downton, who, 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 who were. Um, they're in rich vein of form themselves. You know, I think they've won four on the bounce or five on the bounce, and they're, they're, they've got quality players. You know, they've got good, good players and um, great atmosphere. Great atmosphere at the club. I remember when this club was had 150 supporters, 100 supporters, and, and today there's two and a half thousand or whatever, 2,300, whatever it is, and to see the ground packed like that. Um, because I think in big games we, we've done really well over time, but I think over the Christmas period when we've had good crowds in. We haven't hit the levels that we, you know, we have done over the previous previous couple of months. So there's always that bridesmaid feel. Um, today we certainly weren't a bridesmaid.